Leave my phone out there. All right, let's see how it goes. Where's my phone? <laughs> I left my phone. Shoot. Can I leave my phone out here? Yeah. Shoot. Yeah. Thanks, bro. And I'm trying to syndicate throughout all of my different streaming services, and for some reason it's not going live. Huh. I know I'm live on Am on YouTube. It's not working on Amazon. I should work. Waiting for video stream data. Not go live in my encoder. Talk on stream first encoder. Talk It's not working. Oh, I have to change it. Aha, now we're ready. All right, we're ready. All right, my friends, welcome to Tech Influence. My name is Andy. You uh, are formerly known as Andy with Andy Vlogs. Uh, I've got a good treat for you guys as the iPhone has been officially announced and released as of today. I have a dummy phone here of the iPhone 15 Pro, so we're going to be going over all of the smorgasbord of accessories here that you can check out, including cases that have been uh, launched and announced here with this uh, announcement, which is exciting. So, without further ado, we're gonna go ahead here and uh, we are going to check out uh, a couple of different products here. So first and foremost, uh, we're gonna be going over 
the MagSafe friendly case here for the Samsung, or for, why am I saying Samsung? <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is for the Tora's. Let's go ahead and shift gears to the other top down look here for you guys. I want to be able to see my stream. Can't I see it? How come I can't see it? I'm able to see myself. Okay, so what we're looking at here is uh, this is the L stand clear iPhone case for obviously the 15 Pro Max. Uh, I wanna move all of these other products out of the way because they're in the way. If you can see them in shot, we will go over all of them shortly here. It is kind of a mess on my desk. Maybe I put these on this side. It's better to put them on this side. What happened? Did it just die? What happened in the stream? Sorry for the technical difficulties. What just happened? It's still there. Why did it say it dropped? That's so weird. Sorry about that. There we go. Okay, here we go. Sorry about that. Okay. So I'm looking at a really cool kickstand case here from the folks at Torres. Uh, just to let you know, um, this is one of my favorite types of cases where it's like multifaceted here. Uh, when you place it into the phone, you can see here that as I zoom in, you've got a cool bunch of different options here to choose from. This is MagSafe compatibility. So if you wanted to attach one of these you know, MagSafe related products, you have that ability to. What's awesome is the iPhone 15 Pro has MagSafe as well. That's kind of 2.0, which is the most uh, recent version of it. And then lastly here, you've got this really cool product here that uh, you can balance it on your desk here as a desk buddy, which is really nice. This is the kickstand L stand case here from Torres. I really like that. You still have access to all of the other aspects of the phone. You can do a screen protector. It grabs onto the bezel. You've got your USB type C and uh, you've got all those different options here to be able to choose from. So I think what's really cool about Taurus here is that they have a bunch of different styles and products here that you can choose from. So we're going to go ahead and now select from another one here that is my, honestly, one of my favorites. Uh, this one is the the Torres shockproof case. It also has these really cool uh, little tags here that you can go ahead and adjust. If you wanted to add the power button to be yellow or to be gold, you can do that. Otherwise, um, you've got this really cool shockproof case here that is military drop grade protection. What's nice is you still have the ability to charge through MagSafe, it just doesn't have the MagSafe ring. So be careful if you're gonna be attaching stuff to it. Uh, nonetheless, this looks really sleek in the hand. I really, really like that. And I think this is definitely uh, something that um, will protect you and help you feel comfortable. The best part about it here is it has this um, adaptive, uh, what do they call it here in the, uh, in the announcement? They have this like camera bulge that like goes up. So it's like one unique piece. Well, they've mimicked that here on the case, which is gonna be uh, similar as well. I really like that. It's really sleek in the hand. Let's go and move on to a couple other cases here that we have uh, access to. The iPhone 15 Pro in my hand. As you can see here, there's a couple other cases. Uh, this is kind of the sister or the brother to the clear case that we reviewed. This one is also an L stand uh, MagSafe case here. I really like the sleek matte look. This is like a black or a graphite look. You throw it onto the phone there and it looks great. It's translucent still. You can see the Apple um, Insignia logo still there uh, and it doesn't impede on your screen protector. I really like that look. It's really nice in the hand. It's great. It's still MagSafe compatible. So if you've got you know one of these MagSafe chargers here, you can go ahead and do that. 
What's up, Carlos? Thank you so much for joining as a member. Appreciate that. You're the bomb. Welcome, Pungyo. You can see here, the weasel has um, just signaled off. It's really cool. I really like that. Um, I'll feature the weasel there shortly. With that said, um, the last part of this case here, it's really nice. It's a kickstand. So if you wanted to have a desk buddy here, you can throw it there. It does hold up uh, horizontally. So if you wanted to use TikTok, the only problem is it's upside down. So just be cognizant of that. Not all devices will be supportive of that. So it's pretty cool. Check that out. Uh, we're going to go through a couple more cases here and show you a few that are kind of out here um, and available. With that said, uh, I've got five specifically from Tora's. I really like specifically their style. Here is a complete clear case. Oh, as I drop it. This is their diamond case. I uh, did a review of this a little bit earlier, but I wanted to showcase it again. A lot of these, uh, you know, these diamond or like these super clear cases have like a yellowing to it. This has that anti-yellowing polycarbonate material, which is nice. It's high quality and it's sleek. I really like it and it is gonna be able to provide you that protection from mili you know, the military drop grade protection. Throwing it on here, it's it's got a really sleek design. It allows you to be able to see that titanium look right so if you wanted to opt into that titanium white it would be a shame for you to be you know covering it with with uh, a case that isn't titanium so having that there i'm going for the black titanium which is really exciting i'm not sure what you guys are going to be going for let me know um down below in the comments uh, i'm going to put a message down there uh what what case are you going to get what case are you going to get not case, what, what phone are you going to get? What color? That's what I was going to say. Color you got, shoot, I keep talking. What color are you going to get? With that said, I'm going to tap over to the clear case. Uh, let's go ahead and show you top down here. This is what it looks like. I didn't clean it off so you can see this has been put to use. It's got a little bit of few, a few little smudges there, but it's not too bad. Also, I never checked uh, audio levels. Uh, let me know if, it, if it's a problem. Otherwise, we'll just keep going. You know, why don't I just turn it up? I didn't clean it off so you can see this. Oh, it sounds great. Sounds fine. I wanted to check one more thing. Did I select the right audio? I don't think I selected the right audio. There we go. All right, that that might have fixed it. Okay, let's see if that sounds any better. Sorry about that. I uh, I think I had my potato microphone on the whole time. Sorry about that. Let's uh, let's go ahead and see if it's any better. I think that sounds okay, eternally see. better. All right. So with that said, let's go ahead and show you now um, one of the other cases that I have on my list, and then we'll go through all of these other accessories that I think will lift up your content creation. It will lift up your lifestyle. It will be something that will accent your mood. And if you wanted to use, obviously, um, it will be able to heighten your photography, videography, all that good stuff. So in my hand here, I've got one of the thinnest cases that have been released. This is a 0.55 millimeter case, which is super thin. It's also really high quality, which is made out of a polycarbonate. It's like a TPU material, so it doesn't really give way, and it's still really rigid, so you can still be able to use MagSafe with it. I like the matte black look, and I like how it's got this uh, chamfer that like rolls up here to accent and uh, uh, be able to augment, not augment, but accent your uh, your phone. Now it's gonna be covering the titanium here, so keep keep cognizant of that, um, keep aware of that, but for the most part here, I think it's a, a good option to decide on. As you can see here from the top down, we've got the phone, it looks really, really cool. It's really, really thin and lightweight. It is very, very, I mean, soft to the touch. It's 
almost a silicone feeling, but it's not. This is not silicone. It's that polycarbonate material. You've got your buttons here that are cut out, which I think um, fell off when I turned them off. This I had changed to a different color and they fell off. So you can uh, accessorize here, but I do have my action button there, uh, which is finally confirmed, which is fun. So let's go ahead now and switch over to the last of the cases. Um, I think I went through them all. Yeah, I think that was it. That was all the cases here. So um, there is a, a majority of the cases that are currently in my possession. I have a bunch more on the way here. So keep that in mind. Uh, I will be reviewing them and you'll be able to see them on my storefront shortly. Uh, so keep an eye out on that. Let's go ahead and go over a lot of the accessories here now that I wanted to showcase that can lift your lifestyle. So I've got this leather case and I'm gonna have to do it with my iPhone, uh, my 14 Pro, because of uh, the nature of it. I don't have uh, the actual case yet from the iPhone 15. So let's go ahead and show you here. We've got this case from the folks at Wilkin. They use a really high quality leather that wraps all the way around the case. This is from last year, but I've gone ahead and put up there uh, the most current version if you're looking to pick that up for the iPhone 15. With that said here, I like how they've got MagSafe built into it. As you can see, you've got this really, really nice microfiber material, which is very soft to the touch. Uh, inlaid into it is the leather that's wrapped all the way around the case. This is one of my favorites by far of the iPhone leather cases out there. It's from the folks at Wilkin, as you guys can see. I've also got it down below if that's something that you're interested in. But placing it in the phone, it's really sleek, it's really nice, super simple, it grabs onto it. I do have a, uh, a screen protector from Speedgen, um, which I'll be showcasing later. Anyway, this uh, is open here, an open concept, which is kind of interesting, but it doesn't impede on your uh, grip. It doesn't impede on your screen protector, which is nice. And then, I mean, just look at that. It looks fine to the touch. I really like that. Uh, let's move on to uh, another one of my favorite products here. Uh, let's see if I'm going to be doing any more cases. Yes, we're going to do another couple more cases here. This is from the folks at Moment. Uh, now, I'm way into mobile photography. That's my thing. I've got all Moment's cases here. Um, all Moment's phone, uh, not phone cases, but lenses. And then they just announced their T-Series lenses, which I will be reviewing as well. These are the M-Series lenses, which we'll be going over shortly here, but uh, what's nice here is they have a case that was recently announced. Here is uh, what I'm talking about here for the 14. So as you can see here, made out of a similar material, this is more like a cork with a uh, microfiber material. You can see inside you got the MagSafe. It's made out of a less uh, arduous or like less uh, rigid case, which is more of like a silicone, I think. It's a polycarbonate silicone, I think. And then I've got built into it here, I've got that grip or the mount here for your lenses, which is nice. Placing it into the phone, we're going to go ahead now and show off the lenses here for the first time. Let's switch over to the M series lenses. I'm going to go ahead and click on the wide angle lens. Uh, no, we're going to click on the uh, anamorphic, that's one of my favorites. Anamorphic is by far one of the coolest. This is 3.3. You can go ahead and you just place it onto the mount. Very straightforward. And there it is. Looks really, really nice. Coming up close here. You can see the mount with the case all together. It's a great, great option. I'm showing you what that looks like here with the camera. I'm actually going to have to go into the specific app that we're talking about. You have to go into the app that you can use by moment. Uh, I have to type it out. I thought I had it queued up. So, oh, it changed, it changed icons on me. Sorry about that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to switch the lens to video and then you swap the lens. They changed everything. Where's the lens? Did it know that it's anamorphic? How do I switch the lens? How did it know? Does it, does it know? Oh, I have to switch it, that's why. <laughs> 
It's on the front facing camera, silly. Uh, even then, like, where's the lens? How do I swap the lens? I'm sorry, I don't want to have to go through this, but basically, uh, yeah, this is how it's going to look. Here you go, this is the anamorphic. Um, you can't really see it. Darn, I wish I could show you the flaring. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and switch over to um, another one of the lenses here that they've got. This is going to be the 58. Uh, this is going to be the 16 wide. This is one of my favorite lenses. The 18 wide, I'm sorry. As you can see here, this one is more compatible. Look how much wider that is. You can get your entire, I can get my entire desk. Look at that, looks so good. Coming up closer here, as you can see, there's the lens in all its glory. I really like that. I'm gonna switch over now to the uh, telly. Show you what the telly looks like. This is the uh, 58 millimeter. This one is compatible with the camera. You can just go ahead and swap it, as you can see. This one looks so good in the hand. I love shooting horizontal with this one. It just gives you so much, so much more to it. So. I think my contrast is a little bit too much. I'm gonna adjust it. Give me a second here. You guys should be, still be able to hear me. Uh, as I adjust the contrast here, the 2X is fantastic for vlogging. I really like it as a way to be able to get content that um, you wouldn't normally get. Many times it's washed out on the iPhone and so having something like that is super important. So for some reason, the, just really, really sharp. Okay, that might be it. It might be too sharp. I don't know why. Alrighty, so that is um, more or less the uh, the Moment work. There are a few more products from Moment that I'm going to be showcasing here that are my favorite uh, when it comes to content creation in the iPhone 15. It's just going to marry perfectly together when you use them. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you another lens option. I did the anamorphic. Uh, 1.33. There is an anamorphic 1.55, which gives you like the true wide angle cinematic look. Um, this is from the folks at Small Rig. So Small Rig has a 1.55, which uh, I think is probably one of the best out there. There's a lot of these that uh, really have, unfortunately, some chromatic aberration and the lenses kind of shift as they sit in your bag. And so the edges will really fringe. I really like this as a way to, um, I like this lens. Why didn't this work? Oh, shoot. There we go. The small rig uh, 1.55 lens is a great way to be able to just give you a lot more width if you're trying to get a great landscape shot, if you're at the beach, if you're hiking. It's really easy to install. You just use the moment existing uh, adapter and you can just throw it right on there uh, without any issue. And then it grabs right on here. If you get it the wrong angle, you can go ahead and take it off and then fit it the right angle and get you that look. This is a blue anamorphic, so you can kind of see with that, it's uh, it's pretty good. Hey Batman, thanks for tuning in. So this is my go-to for content creation. Let me go ahead and give you an overhead of what that looks like. As you can see, coming close, looks great. You will have to use an app to de-squeeze it, but that's really, really cool. All right, friends, let's go ahead and uh, jump into another set of uh, content creation here that I like to uh, engage in. 
So this is going to be from the folks at ShiftCam. This is their Pro Grip. So for your iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max, and you know, quite frankly, uh, your iPhone um, 15s anyway, you can go ahead and utilize uh, a couple of these grips. So they've got two that, that they've released. This is the Pro Grip. This is my favorite grip out there. I use this for vlogging. I use this for taking um, um, shots out with the kids. Um, it's a little bit small, actually. Interesting. It doesn't fit. It fits the uh, Pro Max right here, but it doesn't fit the Pro. Oh, it's not fitting that one either. Huh. You have to get the bumpers for it, so I'm going to have to pull out my, uh, my iPhone. But as you can see here, you place it together, and now you've got this grip with this wrist strap, which is really nice. My favorite part about it as well is you've got this cold shoe mount, which means that you can put an attachment. I like to throw a external mic here, which will be great with USB type C. Uh, now that the iPhone 15 is out, you don't have to get an adapter necessarily. You can just go straight in with USB type C, which is awesome. Um, that's like a big, big win here because this actually outputs USB type C. So as long as you get a USB type C to USB type C, you'll be able to get an awesome shotgun mic as well as a grip here to be able to go. The second best part about it here, well, there's three awesome things, right? We talked about the cold shoe mount. You've got a dedicated shutter button. So as you can see here, the shutter button, you can press it and it, it just works. It'll take video, it'll take pictures, whichever setting you're on in the camera app, it'll just, it'll just do. So I have, to, uh, I have to connect the Bluetooth. Oh, there we go. I have Bluetooth connected. You can see the shutter's going, there's video. You can take a picture. It takes the picture, no problem. See that? And the last part about it is it has a 5,000 milliamp battery, so you press the button, here it starts charging, and it can charge through MagSafe, which is really cool. You push it up, hit the charge button, and there you go, you're charging through MagSafe. It's a great way to be able to take when you're on the go, if you're going traveling, if you you know are going on a cruise. It's also easy to be able to place on a tripod, which is awesome. It has the ability to switch directions. I mean, this is one of the best devices out there, in my opinion, as far as rigs. Well, recently they came out with another product that I do want to feature as well. This is uh, their mobile grip. What do they call it? The Shift Cam Snap Grip. This is their Snap Grip. Uh, I think it's an awesome product here to be able to uh, have on the go. You can put it in your fanny pack, you can put it in your backpack. If you want to have a pro level um, experience with a very straightforward rig, uh, you can use this for vlogging, content creation. And the best part about it here is it extends the MagSafe. So it obviously is a 5,000 milliamp battery like I told you, but it also has a, a MagSafe on the back side so you can attach accessories like uh, what I'm showing you here. So this is uh, specifically, this is the Creator Grip, which I like. The Creator Grip, it fits right on here like MagSafe. You can start charging here if you wanted to. It's got 5,000 milliamps. It'll start charging like you can see here. And then you can start taking pictures. I should have had it already set up. It takes a minute here for the Bluetooth to connect. Ah, darn it. I don't think I have the Bluetooth. Oh, there it goes. Now it's going. It's just been a while since I've done it. You can see Bluetooth. It's working. It's got that. Um, it's got the, the, the shutter button. And then best of all here is you've got this rig that you can place on here if you want. So I've got this rig here that, that fits right on it. And then you've got this selfie stick kind of apparatus, the selfie light that's perfect for taking those selfie shots. So I'll show you here what it all looks like here in Praxis. Turn the light on. It looks like the light is dead. I have the light dead, so if you're if you if you are targeting you know a subject, you can still shoot it. I like it how it's got more of like a hands-free situation. You do have the ability to angle it, so if you want to have you know that shot where it's you know selfie shot, 
you can do that. And then it's also it also acts as a little mini tripod, so you can get that shot on the beach. If you want to get that time lapse, if you want to get that you know look at camera shot, you have that option here. So I really like this Creator Kit. Um, this is one of my favorites here. That's MagSafe enabled. It helps. It's going to boost your um, you know iPhone 15 creativity there. Um, there are a couple other of these features here for uh, the same snap grip. So Moment came out with a couple of them. So they've got a cold shoe mount. So if you wanted to snap on there, they've got this cold shoe mount that you can raise if you want to add, you know, a, a another level of your creator. You can add the road to it. They even have another one of these rigs here, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, it's meant for the tripod. This guy is my favorite go-to. Same thing, it just has, instead of the light, you can put a cold shoe mount on top, which will allow you to put your mic. So now you've got your full rig, you've got a charger, you've got a Bluetooth, shutter button, and you've got a tripod. So you can take this off of the other one, put it together. This is, yeah, this is my go-to. So I started off logging with this chat, with, with this content and reviewing uh, products. And uh, that's, that's where I got this idea. It just looks super cool. Look at that. I really like that. Really cool here. You can go ahead and show it like that. You obviously could switch the camera here if you wanted it to uh, point to you. You've got that option here as well. So those are some of my favorite creator rigs here. Um, next of all, if you wanted a complete uh, all-in-one package here that accomplishes everything, you can go in and opt into the Osmo DJI Mobile 6. This is um, one of my favorite products here as well. This guy is really, really cool. You need to make sure and have the grip though. So. Let me go ahead and kind of demonstrate this product. If you are traveling, this is a must. If you're on, you know, like a voyage, if you're going to a family reunion, if you want to capture content, this is honestly my go-to. So you can see it can kind of fold out of itself. You clip on on the ring and you've got yourself a complete stabilized gyroscopic, gyroscopic you know, handheld unit. And then on top of that, you have a cold shoe mount here. So if you wanted to add this tripod bottom, you totally could. As you can see, we can go ahead and throw that on here. And you've got all full angle here to be able to content create. On top of that, it even has a selfie feature. I wish they didn't have the selfie feature, otherwise I would bring this to Disneyland. My wife loves Disneyland and so do I. And uh, don't, don't tell her I admitted that. Uh, but you've got this really cool like extension pod here. You can have it stretch out. You can record content. It's fully gyroscopic. There's also an app here to be able to use a bunch of different features. I really like it. I think it's a definite go-to when it comes to your content creation. So um, this is what I opt into if you wanted a full solution. Just granted, if you have a heavier phone, you're not going to really be able to put a lens on the on the backside because this is this has a payload limit. But having something like this where you can actually take pictures is really, really awesome. DJI Osmo Mobile 6, my go-to. So let's go ahead and power this down and now show you the next section of uh, product features that I'd recommend for your iPhone 15 Pro Max. Uh, next set of uh, products here is the Fjordan uh, Pro Bundle. So if you wanted to, you know, take the next step, if you wanted to level up by using something that's completely um, customizable or like pro mode if you wanted to have the ability to adjust your levels if you wanted to adjust um, you know your sharpness contrast all that stuff and uh, shoot pro mode you've got the Fjordan pro pack pro kit here um, that has its own dedicated case 
uh, the, the iPhone 15 case is coming out shortly. I've got mine subscribed for, but you've got this really cool rig here and wrist strap to boot. So uh, first and foremost, that's going to show you the case itself. It's made out of this polycarbonate material. It's got the hookups for the unit itself. And so all you need to do is grab the rig and then you can go ahead and snap it on like you normally would here. Now I've got the MagSafe kit on here. You can go ahead and take it off like this. Uh, I don't know how to do it. There we go. So you've got the little Fjordan grip. What's cool about the Fjordan grip here is, is it provides you the customization and pro uh, tools to be able to shoot photography and create content all in one. It's recommended that you use their app. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to get features, um, all the features here that you want, right? So as you can see, you've got a zoom key to be able to zoom in. You've got a trigger button. You've got a little roller here for your finger, which you can change, you know, ISO if you want or shutter speed. And then you've also got another accessory like C1 button here if you wanted to change your, um, if you want to like lock your uh, focus or whatever. So I really like this here because it does uh, grip on their case or if you want you can utilize their MagSafe which is reasonable as well. Let's go ahead and take this off here and show you what that looks like. I hit record on accident. Now it's recording. If you want to see what that looks like, you can snap it right on there. There's MagSafe. You've even got like a wrist strap here. You've got a, uh, a quarter inch mount and you even have an adapter here for a, uh, what do you call this? Uh, a, a, what did I say? Cold shoe mount. This is for a tripod mount. That's why I was getting all tricked up. There's a tripod mount. This is a nice ergonomic grip, allowing you to be able to hold on to it and the grip onto it. You have to lock this piece in place, and there you got it. It's really nice to be able to have zoom in. You can take pictures, you can see that it's working, all that good stuff. That's the Fjordan Pro Grip. So we're gonna move into some more uh, you know, utility type products here. So we're gonna talk about some of your charging. So we've got these MagSafe enabled uh, charging cases here, which are charging battery banks, which is something that I would highly recommend. Uh, first and foremost, the Apple MagSafe battery is awesome. Um, I'm gonna show you a couple of other batteries here, like the iWalk. Uh, this is a 4,000 milliamp battery. It's cool because it's got a key ring. It just fits right on the back. It starts charging with no problem. We're gonna go ahead and hit uh, number two. So you can see, and let me push everything out of the way so we can give you a better look here. So I've got these three battery packs here that I'm gonna go ahead and show off. Here is the iWalk. You can see that it's uh, been put to use. If you push this button here, you can see how much is charging left. You've got a nice ring here that can act as a little desk buddy. So it can actually hold up the unit. It can't do it uh, vertically, but it can do it horizontally. And this will obviously show you how to charge in its USB type C. So you can go ahead and actually connect into it as well and get like 15 to 20 watts. It only pushes out about five watts. Um, but this is ubiquitous MagSafe, which is nice. Another one here is uh, the, the bigger brother of the iWalk here. This is the, 8, 000, uh, the 9,000 milliamp, which is huge. It's even got like a heat sink. Uh, this will output 7.5 watts, which is great. And then you've got um, you know, the indicator here on the top, which is nice. This one is a little bulky, so I recommend just leaving it on your desk. It doesn't have the key ring, which is unfortunate. And then lastly here, we're gonna go ahead and show you the Oezel. This is the 8,000 milliamp. Uh, it outputs 40 watts here in the plug, 20 on each plug. So you can just plug in USB type C to USB type C, which is nice. You throw it on there and it outputs 7.5 watts here at MagSafe, which is really nice. There it is, there's the MagSafe notification. Looks really cool.
Alrighty, next on the list is going to be some other charging options. We've got this uh, static 65 watt bank. So if you wanted to just have a battery bank here to be able to charge, you can go in and get um, you know, your USB type C to USB type C. This is the 14. Uh, it's got a bunch of different outputs, which is really cool. You've got USB 1.3.0, uh, 2.0, USB-C, Lightning, and uh, micro USB. So if you wanted to output all, the, all those, you can. We're going to plug it into the USB type C. We're going to plug this into the iPhone. You can see it'll output uh, up to 64 watts, which is great. Super fast charging, which is nice. I really like this. This is 20,000 milliamps. Yep, 20,000 milliamps, which is huge. It's not too heavy. It's nice to hold in the hand, and I think it's reasonable to have. Uh, nextly here, I've got this U Green uh, power bank or U, U, U Green 65 watt plug. So this is great to have uh, when you are, you know, on the go when you've got multiple products here. This is something that I think is really awesome. That you've got up to 65 watts uh, collectively here. I think the max here on the USB Type C is 30. So it's like 30, 20, 15. I believe that's. 65, which is not bad. Plugs into most types of plugs. It's very small and slender. I really like that. So that's an option here when you get your new iPhone 15 Pro Max. Let's go ahead now and shift gears uh, to a couple of other kind of one-offs here. I've got this Kevlar braided cable, which is a USB type C to USB type C. So if you're looking to charge and you want to have maximum output, this supports up to like 130 watts, which is crazy. Um, this is from the folks at Nomad, so you guys can check that out. Highly recommend it. Super long, perfect for uh, when you're on the go, when you need it. Um, this is my go-to. This is uh, in my everyday carry with me. Uh, next is, uh, I, I did talk about this, but I will highlight it here. Um, this is my go-to for content creation. This is the Rode Video Mic 2. It's a very, very low profile, yet sounds fantastic. Um, Microphone, uh, I wish I could give it justice here, uh, but honestly, uh, plug this sucker in and you're gonna be sounding like butter. It goes great with the iPhone and it's a uh, USB to USB type, USB type C to USB type C, which is great, something I highly recommend here if you're content creating. It also works with any of your other, you know, SLR cameras, my mirrorless cameras, as it does have the, uh, TSR cable, the 3.5 millimeter jack. Uh, next, as far as audio here, I opt into uh, when I'm on the go and I'm doing interviews or I'm, you know, doing a podcast. I like to go with my Rode Wireless Go 2. These are fantastic when it comes to content creation. You've got, uh, you'll have to get an adapter for the USB Type C. This is for my 14 Pro Max here. But these are fantastic, transmitter receiver, you can have up to two of them. This fits on the phone. You can have that whole rig here like I showed you with a wireless uh, adapter here, which is really cool. All righty, into gaming, and, uh, and that's gonna about wrap it up. So I use two different types of controllers when I game, depending on how I wanna game and what game I wanna play with. Uh, I like to use my backbone. Uh, Backbone is awesome, integrated with Apple. Um, this has, you know, all the buttons necessary to play all the games that you need in the store, but if you're streaming on PlayStation or on Xbox through their cloud gaming, this uh, is optimized with the right controller configuration here as typical. So you've got your bumpers, you've got your triggers, it can extend out. You have to have an adapter here for the Pro Max, but the new one that they'll come out with is gonna be fantastic and, and great for it. You've got all the extra side buttons as well. The buttons that click in, the joystick is nice, and the D-pad is actually really, really clean. Nextly here, we're gonna go over the other controller that I like to use. This is mainly when I'm on the go. This is, in, this is my go-to. This is the uh, Razer Kishi version two mobile. They've got one for Android and iOS. This, the one I selected is for Android, which is the USB Type-C, which should work with the new iPhone 15 Pro. As you can see here, it makes it for super easy to game. You go ahead and place it in, stretch it out, lock it in place. It doesn't impede on the, uh, on the 
screen protector, and you can go ahead and play this game, which is I've been loving to play in, Scourge uh, Bringer. It looks and sounds fantastic. And it uh, it just it just fits. It just it just fits. I love how it works and looks fantastic like that. Let's go ahead and show you the top view as we play it. One of these rogue you can see that uh, if you're Little input lag, it just looks good and feels good in the hands. Alrighty, I think there was one more piece of content or, or, or product that I wanted to go over. My desk is a mess here and I need to clean it up. Nonetheless, uh, this is one of my favorite tripods. So if you're looking for a tripod solution to be able to set it up for, <coughs> excuse me, for a group picture, if you wanted to set it up here, uh, and, and stream along the beach, you can have it. It's really robust and high quality. I really like it. It even has a camera. Uh, it even has a shutter button here. Um, I left it in my backpack. It's over there. Nonetheless, uh, that's certainly an option for you to be able to consider. Uh, I've got it over here, um, as you can see, selected. The O-Motion O-Mag phone tripod. It's got this 90 degree angle, which is like perfect for for content creation, it extends out like incredibly far. Very, very far, very simple to attach. And it even has a two-step attachment. Uh, it attaches via MagSafe as well as suction. So as you can see, you can go ahead and stream and I have it almost all the way out to the, <laughs> to the camera. There we go, this is kind of ridiculous. If you wanted to stream and be like, hey guys. <laughs> you have that option. Otherwise, if you wanted to have this as B-roll or a second cam for whatever content creation that you're making, you can go ahead and do that as well. It sits up like that. It's got a wide girth and you can go ahead here and you can stream, you can set it up and you can have it nicely. The last thing that I wanted to feature here is a, another charging option. If you have an Apple Watch like I do, if you have AirPods, like I do, you can go ahead and, and consider this three-in-one charging bank from Morpiso. Um, it's really compact. It's perfect for traveling. It's great to have in a purse, in a pinch. So if you wanted to pair it with, obviously, the static, you can. I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like to charge. We're going to put it in the USB Type-C, plug it into its USB port. Hit the button and it glows as well. It's got LEDs uh, to show you and signify that it's charging. So go ahead and charge the camera, the phone right there. We can go ahead and charge my Apple Watch. My AirPods are not in the vicinity, but you can see here that it's charging. Each one of them light up independently as they charge, which is really nice to have here, especially when you're on the go. And then the last part about it here that I really like and appreciate here is if you wanted to, you could turn this into a desk buddy. So if you wanted to set this up, you know, you're traveling, if you want to have something where your phone was, um, let me put my Apple Watch back on. You can go ahead and arrange it here like that. It snaps together. And then you have it in this triangle shape to be able to fit just like that which is really cool. I like that. So that does it. Thanks so much, guys. I'm really excited about the iPhone 15 release. If you like this uh, content here, um, show me in the chat there, and I will be more than happy to do more and show you more of my favorite accessories for iPhone. So look forward to that. Appreciate everyone uh, jumping in on here. This was really, really fun. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. We will, uh, we will catch you on the next one, my friends. Goodbye.